Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, that's me. I'm here today to show you two ways that Google Classroom rubrics save teachers' time. Those two ways are that you can reuse rubrics and also that you can duplicate criterion. It makes it so easy. So let's look, let's create an assignment. So I create an assignment and you always have to title it before you see this rubric thing is grayed out. You always have to title it. So let's say virtual dissection because we really should stop doing actual dissections and look at that the rubric thing is there so i click on that and i'll click reuse rubric so i can just reuse another one i've already created so let's do that and here i can reuse this one for my class but i can go to every other class that i teach or co-teach and let's go to this one and by the way this rock cycle one right here that one's a draft i haven't even posted that assignment but i could still reuse it let's use this one Click select. And then once it's added to the assignment, I can actually go in there and I get a little preview of it. But if I click the three dot menu, I can edit. And here's where it gets even better. For every criterion I have, I can easily click this duplicate criterion. And now all of a sudden I can play around and change things and add criterion. I can always add a, a blank criterion here but the duplicate is so easy and so useful. So reuse rubrics and duplicate criterion, two ways that Google Classroom rubrics save teachers time. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.